Maybe you have some loans from Heartland ECSI. This loan servicer is one of the trickiest in the entire arsenal of the many, many loan servicers the federal government has hired to manage student loans for them. Because Heartland ECSI, for whatever reason, has a ton of contracts out there to manage Perkins loans for individual schools, and it also manages most of the Health Resources Services Administration, HRSA, student loan programs. Some of these include the HPSL loan, this is Health Professions Student Loans, they also will sometimes manage loans for disadvantaged students, and I've seen them do other programs too, like nursing loans or primary care loans. These kind of, of student loans are a giveaway if it's at a 5% interest rate. That's typically the interest rate that these loans are issued at, and they're sold to students based on the fact that it's lower interest, and a lot of them don't accrue interest while you're in school, so it is a pretty attractive interest rate and in loan terms for people who are actually in school and, and taking the debt out if their thought is that they're going to pay the debt back. The problem with these kind of loans is realistically I see a lot of people who take them out who pay them back as if they're a private loan. And if you're going for loan forgiveness such as public service loan forgiveness or even IDR loan forgiveness then that's going to mean that that debt, say you took out 50,000 of loans from Heartland ECSI, that 50,000 could have been forgiven but instead you left it with Heartland ECSI and you're paying it back as if it's a private student loan. That could make that $50,000 actually drastically more expensive. Imagine if you're going for public service loan forgiveness and your debt could have been forgiven. That 50,000 Heartland ECSI loan would actually would have been totally forgiven if you'd only taken it out as a Stafford or Grad Plus instead. Luckily, there's a way to remedy this. All you have to do is consolidate your student debt by going to studentloans.gov, click on the Consolidate My Loans section, and you will be able to contact the Department of Education to try to get those health professions loans and other kinds of loans with Heartland ECSI, if they're at a 5%, consolidated to convert them into a direct student loan. This is really complicated and this shows you why people pay us big bucks to help them figure out a plan for their student loan debt. Reach out to us, help at studentloanplanner.com. We would love to hear potentially what we could do for you if you have Heartland ECSI loans and you're really confused about the process and why you might be able to include those in a forgiveness strategy if you happen to have a lot of loan debt. I'm Travis from Student Loan Planner. Thank you so much for watching and good luck managing and figuring out Heartland ECSI debt if you have it.